Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Pleasant Kingdom of Pandora, in The Secret of Mana. Last time we got here and we learned that, or I shouldn't say we learned anything, but we got this BZ on our team, and yes, she's named BZ because they didn't give me a default name, so I had to make one up. So, Funky and BZ will go on the quest to go defeat some witch bitch. I already know where I need to go to do that, but I figured I'd finish exploring the town before I go do that. So you, did I talk to you? Why are you talking to me? I don't know anything. You're right, why am I talking to you, you useless bastard? I didn't know you didn't know anything until I talked to you, so what was I supposed to think? I should have thought so, since your house is over here in the corner all irrelevant and shit. Anyway, did I check this house? I better just check, because I don't remember. I don't remember. Did I talk to you? Oh, you're back. How did you like your husband to be, miss? Uh, apparently... She was talking about marriage before, I believe. Beezy, you're back! Dad, I'm not coming back until I find Dyluck! Okay, well... That was the end of that argument. That didn't become much of an argument. This must be her house. Okay. Clarifications. That's good. Alright, so in the uh, last episode, the king... The king? I guess he was the king. We did talk to the king, right? And the king was trying to marry Beezy off to some dude, but she likes Dyluck, so we're gonna go save Dyluck from the witch or whatever. So, that's what we're going to do in this episode, I imagine. At least go that direction. But first, like I said, we're exploring the rest of this town. People still aren't talking to us, though. Bitches. Whoa! What's happened to Mom and Papa? Oh, is that why people aren't talking to me? Because they're... Some, the, whatever the problem is with the town. Like, that's the other thing that they wanted me to do. They wanted me to, like, help the town. There's, uh, supposedly to the south here, we're supposed to be able to find people that have, like, issues. You know, I'm not even going to do this right now. Let's just go do... What the game, or what, I should say what BZ wanted us to do. Which is go take care of this witch bitch. I don't know if we can actually do anything there yet, though, is the problem. Luckily for us, it's not too long of a trek. This game is actually pretty fast-paced, so I, I can appreciate that much of this game. I was thinking about pulling my spear back out, but I think I'll stick with the sword for now, just so in case I have to chop anything. Also, does BZ do anything? Or is it only boss battles where they'll actually do something? I guess we'll just find out as we go. No! <sighs> Fuck you. Fuck you, mushroom. Fuck you, mushroom. And I'm only bothering to kill everything because it actually does give experience. It's not like Zelda, where killing things doesn't matter. You just run right by them and it's the equivalent. The shortcut becomes relevant. Yay! I remember that shortcut. As I was saying, though, killing all the monsters is seems sort of worth it. Also, we just let her to get rocked. Why don't you help yourself, BZ? You easily could have attacked that dude. Well, wait, 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 wait. Did she have weapons? I didn't even think about checking to see if she had weapons. How do we check if she has weapons? Hold on. We have not even looked into her at all. Um. Okay, oh, it shows that she has a spike knuckle. Okay, so she does have a weapon. So she's not completely helpless. Quit acting like you're so helpless, BZ. Speaking of things, did I equip any of the new things that I got? Pretty sure I did. Um, oh wait, no, I didn't equip. No, oh, oh, I bought a kung fu suit. Now she has a kung fu suit already. Well, lame. Super lame. Well then, I have some things to sell, I guess. So fucking be it. I have things to sell. I'm sure at some point in this game it'll be easy to just run through these places and we'll be killing everything like Zelda where we just chop it once and it dies. And that'll be a nice day. A day that I can hope, pray, and dream for. Eh, easy to reach level 2. See, it is worth it when you get level ups. Fuck off plants. I keep forgetting where the plants are placed. I keep forgetting to notice any flowers. Funky's now level 4. Funky's gonna rock the socks out of all the cocks. Got my free healing too, which is beautiful. Alright, there we go. Moving on, chop the grass for no reason. Let's get to that witch teleporter, shall we? All them soldiers that were over here, including Dyluck, they went over here. Let's see where if we can continue on with this place now. See, there's this thing. Can we do anything with this thing, or are we literally at a stuck crossroads here? That's one thing I wasn't sure about. Like, can we do anything with this? Or is this just a dead end for us for now? Like, I see enemies. I feel like we need something. Alright, well, maybe this was a waste of time. Alright, so we're back here in 
in the village, and I decided I think I'm just going to go south of here instead. I just realized now that I can go east as well. There's an eastern, I mean a west exit. I don't know if there's an east exit actually. Is there an east exit here? Probably not. No, it doesn't look like that's the case. Um, so let's head to the south. And we're, I'm just going to go ahead and go south and just see where we can get to. Since that teleporter back there just seems to be a roadblock anyways. Maybe there's another way in there. and We'll find it later. Also, that looks like a menacing statue. Kind of scary with those hounds. Alright, well, that was kind of a roundabout to where... Ooh, okay, hello. Not going to talk to us, I see. Alright, so people who won't talk to us. Maybe we should have came here first. Is this just a bunch of people who won't talk to us? Alright, so the people have gone mute. Why are you mute? Why are you wearing masks? What is wrong with you? Who do we have to kill to get in here? Um, okay. Maybe this was a completely waste of time. Complete Was a complete waste of time. Alright, well then. Maybe this is a dead end for now. I was wrong. I'm glad I discovered that path to the west then. Because otherwise I would not know what to do. Beautiful blind let's play already. Not knowing where to go already. But I, you know, last episode they said check the south. There's masked people, and check, go back to the witch's place, which I went, and that seemed like a dead end for now, so maybe I need something to get. It seems to me that there's like a peg in there. Let's go ahead and just be more practical. When you go to that witch's teleporter thing, where I thought, or at least where I think is the witch's place, um, it's like, there's like a little peg on the ground. It looks like maybe you can maybe tie a rope to it or something. Also, look it, it's Baxter Stockman, guys. Ow! 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 Fuck you, Beedrill. Be drill, bitch. And I, uh, anyway, what was I saying? Oh, there's like a little peg in the ground. It seems like maybe if we tied a rope to it or a, some kind of grappling thing to it, or maybe that's what we need to do. So that's what I'm gonna assume. We're looking for some kind of, some kind of device that can allow us to climb down a mountain or, or a bridge of some sort to get across a mountain, which we, we have no, nothing of the sort at the moment. So that's why I'm glad I've discovered this other path to go along for now. For all I know, this is going to lead me to a new dead end, and I'm not going to know what to do. Fuck you, Robite. You're trying to do your little new attack that I'd never seen before. Fuck you. Anyway, on my way back to the village, also, I believe both of them went up another level, or at the very least, I know BZ went up another level, which is good. Um, either way is good. It really doesn't matter. The levels aren't even, like, you'll notice just by seeing their HP go up. There's no other, like, indicators. Um, I'm trying to see if there's, like, a way I can make everybody else do their attacks, but I think at the moment all I can do is use the main character. I think that's where the multiplayer facet comes in here. This game is highly regarded partially because of its multiplayer features where you can play up to three players. So I'm assuming you can get up to three party members at once based on the amount of space at the bottom of the screen, which is always a good indicator for party member amount. Um, looks like we can have one more party member at least at once. I don't know if there'll be more than three and we could just swap them. But at the very least, I expect one more party member. For the kind of game this is, I kind of only expect one more party member at all. We haven't really had big parties. Well, Chrono Trigger gives you six, right? And you can only use three at a time. So, I mean, there's always a chance. But, like, Earthbound gives you four, and that's all you get. There's no alternates. Alternates. Um, what am I trying to say? Party members. AI seems kind of shitty. Uh, I see the, the need, or at least the appeal, of playing this co-op. So, with any luck, I can maybe I can get somebody in the room with me to play some co-op with this shit. Nah, I probably won't. But... I won't rule it out. Who knows how long this Let's Play will actually be. Why is BZ getting anything leveled up? She's not even doing anything in these battles. I'm doing all the work. She's just watching with her AI-ness. Useless. Get this drill down. He looks very Baxter Stockman with that face. It's definitely like a... doesn't look like a bee. It looks more like a fly. With a stinger. Fuck you. Ah, I'm trying to hit him, but he's such an annoying enemy. Ugh. Fuck. I want to swipe, not stab. Oh my god, I got poisoned, really? Is that is that something that just happened to me? Oh, fuck. Poison hurts. Ow, ow, ow. Does it ever wear out? Or do I have to do something about it? That shit hurts. Oh, no, it's a bomb! Ow. Ow. Alright, it looks like poison wears off. Which is good, because, damn, that does a lot of damage. Chop the grass, chop the grass, chop the grass. 
I don't know where the fuck we're going, by the way. For all I know, we're just going around about into the other way into the witch's place, which would be nice. Also, I should check... There was an alternate path over here. Or I should say alternate, but there's two paths over here. This big area, I kind of just glossed right by it. I didn't check to see if there's another path over here. Nothing over here to the west. Nothing down here. I didn't chop all the grass because, well, my OCD hasn't kicked in today. That's why. I'm starting to. Although I'm starting to see why you don't need to chop everything. Alright, this is looking like I'm going back too far now. I'm glad the enemies don't respawn on the same screen. You have to leave the screen and come back. That's very Zelda, which is nice. There's a bitch up there. We'll get to you, Mushroom Boom. Although, also, I believe I found out the name of those mushroom bitches. They're called Musha Booms. Which is also the name of a Radiohead song. I think it's Radiohead. Is it Radiohead? Now, now that I say it, I'm not even sure if I'm right. It's either a Radiohead song or it's a Postal Service song. Now I'm not sure. Either way, it's of that ilk. Mushaboom. I seem to remember it being a song for the movie uh, the Scanner Darkly. That's the reason why I'm thinking of it. Trippy movie, if you haven't seen it. Uh, I recommend it for people who like trippy movies. Uh, not only do, is it a movie about people taking drugs or being on drugs, but it also makes you feel like you're on drugs while you're watching it, so isn't that great? Not that I would know anything about being on drugs, but you get the idea. You get the feeling that maybe people would have that that sensation if they were on drugs. And that's all I'm going to uh, delve into with drugs. Die, mushabooms. Musha, musha, boom, broom. Mushroom, boom, boom. I hate mushrooms. Yet they've been such a video game staple because of Mario. Thanks, Mario, for making mushrooms. And a go-to anything in video games. Or I guess Mario himself doesn't need to be thanked. It's, it's more like, thanks Nintendo. Thanks Nintendo. For making me trip out on shrooms, bro. Monkey reaches level 5. Okay, so he didn't reach another level off screen. I was thinking he did. Maybe it wasn't weapon level. I don't remember. I know BZ definitely went up, so... You can always tell by just looking at the HP. If you see it higher, that just means somebody went up a level. If I ever do so, cut, seem to cut things. And because it's the kind of game where travel seems to be real time, you know, I gotta get from A to B. I may be cutting out trips occasionally like that one, so there's a good example of that. For those of you who haven't watched me play an RPG before, that's how it's gonna go. Gaia's Navel is north, Kippo Village is west, Kingdom of Pandora is to the south. Um, let's stop by the Kippo Village first. I definitely need to go to Gaia's Navel. That is somewhere I've been told to go as well. In fact, I think What's-His-Face went there ahead of us, so maybe that is where we need to go first. This is Kippo Village. Cool. The village music is badass in this game. If I haven't pointed it out enough times, it is. Uh, we don't need to heal. I will save it here in a minute. I'm going to explore the rest of the town first. I like that the inn is always like the first building you see, so if you need to save it and heal and all that, do it now. Hey, is this one of the cannon bros? It is cannon, man. This is my home! Da missus is upstairs! Da, da, da. Okay, well, damn, you got a hot missus, bro! My husband's brothers all look alike. Well, I called that one, didn't I? I said there'd be more than one bro, and there is. They're all the same identical looking bros, and there's more than one of them. It's not just two bros, it's multiple bros. I had a feeling once they said cannon bros, there wasn't going to just be two of them. To the north is Guy's Navel. Dwarves live there. Yup, and that's where we're going to get our sword forge. Now I remember. Or at least that's what we're hoping for. My son Dylux too busy to visit me. Your son Dylux is very busy. He's busy getting whooped by a witch right now. I heard about the kingdom. It's too laid back then. Here. It's too laid back here? Is that a bad thing? Then, then why don't you move? Are, are, you, are you too poor? I guess you live in this village. So whatever. To the north. Yeah, yeah, we're talking to you. Um, anything else in this village? Anything else in this village? Also, I still will not get, be able to get used to and enjoy this late screening, s screen scrolling when you gotta get to the edge of the screen to make it scroll. That's something I'll never like. So I'm just gonna have to live with it, I guess. And I'm not the only one. I've already had at least one comment that told me that uh, they don't like it either. And it's part of why they didn't like playing the game. Hey, item shop guy. What up? What you got? What you selling? You got that candy. 
You got that elbow pad. You got that kung fu dress. You got that chain vest. You got that her ribbon. All right, I think I want a hair ribbon because she didn't have one, and I'm thinking that's for her. Uh-huh. Uh. Um, I'm gonna buy the chain vest. I'm assuming Mr. Funky can wear that. I do not have enough for the kung fu dress now because I bought that. I will, however, buy the elbow pad because, well, more armor is better. Um, somebody said medical herb, I believe, cures poison, so I'm thinking I'm gonna buy one of these. Candies, I'm good right now. I'm still assuming Cup of Wishes is gonna be like a Phoenix Down. You know what? I'm gonna buy a couple more of these. They're only 10. Can't hurt to buy at least a few. You never know when poison will be an issue, like a real issue. Also, we should sell. We should sell my extra shit that I accidentally bought extras on this. My, I should say, I shouldn't say accidentally. I definitely bought them on purpose. I. Um, what is it? Unknowingly? No. I don't know. The, I, I can't think of the right word. I purposely bought for no reason. Other than I didn't know. Let's just do the equipment already. Alright, give her the ribbon. How do I equip it on her? How do I equip things to the girl? Do I have to actually switch to the girl? How do I do that? Oh, you press select. Okay. Interesting. Alright, so if you want to switch people, you can. You just gotta... Wait, what? Did you not have the ribbon? Okay, well that doesn't matter apparently, because she can't have the ribbon. Okay, because she have the elbow pad at least? Wait, how do we... Wait, what? Huh? I'm so confused. How do we equip for one character? so confused by this. This is very confusing. I am so confused right now, guys. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, I'll leave that equipped on him. That's fine. He's the one I'm using the most anyways. You're gonna, somebody's gonna have to explain to me how this fucking menu shit works. This menu shit is so fucking like, ridiculous. Oops, I keep going in and out of the menu. I'm just, I'm flustered by the menu. I need to just like sit up, sit for a while and figure it out on my own. Let's just save it and then we'll head north. Also, I'm switching back to, switching back to Funk. Why would we not want to use the sword? One night's 10 GP? Nah, we just want to save it. I want to get to Guy's Navel, thank you. And that is where I shall go post haste. To Guy's Navel. Die. Die. Ooh, ooh, treasure. I'll pick it up in a second. Whoa, 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 whoa. Die, you horrible mushaboom bitch. Alright, what's this? Be something worth it. Money? Candy. Candy's good too. Candy's good too. Money in the power. Eating all the candy until it's fucking sour. Get the money in the power. Eating all the candy because it's so fucking sour. Fucking die, flower. Alright, what do we got over here? Oh god, Abby, Abby, Abby! I really want to watch Nintendo's Free Sons Let's Play of this now, but I gotta wait till I'm done with the game, of course. I can't ruin myself. This is one of those Let's Plays I've, one of his Let's Plays that I've just held off from watching simply because I wanted to play the game first. And I've held true to that for every single fucking game that he has done or other LPers that I enjoy do. I stay away from their Let's Plays because I want to watch. I want to play the game for myself, and that is a good example of one of them. Um, I don't know if I should have went this way. Maybe that was just like a shortcut. I'm going to go back the other way. See what was over here. Take a gander. Maybe this is the dead end. I don't know. There's definitely bees and mushrooms over here, so let's fuck them up. Oh, God. Quit missing. I think I just have to stop holding down the direction to slash. 
I don't know, sometimes he slashes, sometimes he chops. I'm not sure how to control which one is which. Timing, maybe? Directional, maybe? I don't know. Did you not, mushroom bitch? Come on, you bee. Fuck you. Fuck you. There we go. Got rid of that carcass of a bee. Don't you dare kill my beezy. Lay off my beezy. My beezy did nothing to your easy. I'm a little worried if somebody gets knocked out. What is that going to mean? Because we had the only time we got knocked down and out was during that boss battle, but that seemed like it was being lenient for us. I don't think we're going to be so lucky from here on out. Meaning the game will not be lenient with us. We will die when we die, and therefore we will be dead. B, die. Sometimes that hitbox is weird, man. Especially when they're like, that flying enemy is like really awkward. Crooked. It's got that crooked hitbox. Trying to be all three dimensional even though it's not shit. Yeah, Lullabud. You got owned. Give me your things. Whatever your things are, I want them. More candy? Ten oh, 16 GP? Okay. I like it. Whoa, 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 B. Whoa. Lay off my homes, B. Home B. Whoa, do not throw me off the waterfall. I'm not ready. I'm too young to die. Fuck off, B. <sighs> Riveting commentary for bees. Too many bees. Kill the bees. All the bees. Bees, 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 bees. Keep missing my first swing. That's because I'm not learning the timing or something. I don't know. Anyway, I'm not going down the waterfall if I can help it. I'm going to go over here. Mushroom. Fuck you. Oh, God, I suck. I suck with this, man. I got to get better at this. I do. I got to get better at it. Got to get better at this. I suck. I suck again! Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Alright, there we go. There we go. Double kill. Double kill. Come on, baby. <laughs> oh, missed the other one. Fuck you, mushroom. Alright, we're good. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Noise fucking bees, 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 bees everywhere. Bees, bees, bees. Okay. Now that I know it's like a shortcut, though. Oh, she died. She sees the Reaper. What does that mean? What does that mean? I mean, I get it, she's probably dead, but like, how long does that last? Forever? How do I revive her? Do we have to go to hell and get her back from the Grim Reaper? Is that how that works? I mean, I thought that's how the fables go. You gotta go back, you gotta go to hell and actually bring them back from the dead. Literally, bring them back. Where am I going, by the way? I know there was a path over there, but I just wanted to see where this goes, and I just went around in a big ass circle, so, wasted time. Ain't doing nothing but wasting my time Cause I'm a dumbass guy Just wasting my time away Just gonna go to the haunted forest Wait, what? Guy's navels to the south? What? What do you mean guy's navels to the south? <sighs> I don't even know what that means Whoa, what? I didn't mean to leave I was trying to like not get hit by that plant I just left Whoops do there. I don't know if that dude was after me or what. Haunted forest guy's name. I thought what? I need to go to guy's name. Don't get me wrong, but like, uh, what is this dude and why is he running from me? Don't run from me, old man. I'm here to talk to you, sir. You, sir. What are you doing? There are many monsters in guy's name. I saw the flood water sweep some kid into it. Don't say. That's sad, I guess. Medicinal herb. Med medical herb. Medical herb. Alright, let's go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, here's another path into that haunted forest. This should be fun. Um, I'm gonna skip this for the moment. I'm gonna finish looking around this area first. I'm gonna see what else we got here before I... Oh, we gotta chop through these flowers. Oh, I didn't even realize I was chopping these flowers. And this has just been an episode of figuring out where the fuck to go. So this has been a riveting commentary, I'm sure. Cannon Travel Center! Yay! Hey, my ghost, no ghosts allowed. What? Just because she's dead? That's racist. How do we revive her? Do we really need to buy Phoenix Downs or whatever? Super lame. There's gotta be a way. 
I'm bringing him back from the dead. How do we do it? Is there an easy way to do it? Oh, God, I wish there was. There probably isn't, though. Hey, uh... Oh, okay. It seems like I haven't actually gone to explore the rest of this area. Area that's considered guy's navel. Yeah, there's like a... Oh, okay. Okay. I thought maybe I was missing something, but I'm... I mean, I am missing something. I didn't go back to the Haunted Forest yet, but I did go back to the town real quick and heal. Because, apparently, that's how you can revive people. I just took her to the inn, and as soon as we rested, she got revived back from the dead. So, that's good to know. I'm glad we now know. That's only My only real concern was how the hell do we heal people. Now we know. At least from back from the dead. I'm sure there's an item for it as well, but it's expensive. We know already. As with most games, Phoenix Downs are expensive. More expensive than most items. And I have to agree, the AI is kind of shitty so far, because she's helping, but it's like very few and far between with her attacks. Not very often. But I'm going to keep killing everything for the experience, even though there's no indicator how much experience I'm actually getting. Probably not worth it in the long run, unless it's like enemies killed per second. Alright, looks like we're in a dungeon. Hey, this isn't the way to the witch's castle. Where are you going? Uh, the underground palace? I'm not going in. Are you going to go by yourself? No, let's go to the forest. Fine. <sighs> Apparently we can't do this right now. What's Is this the same thing? Yep. Wait, is it? Sorry. That, that loading it does when you first get into a new area it confuses me. Let's see what this is. Oh, there's a person. There's a, there's one of these Neko bitches here. Meow. We meet you in a strange place, purr. Need anything? I don't know. What do you have, sir? Oh, you can. Oh, we can save it here if we need to. That's cool. Um, you're selling things again. That's nice. This time it doesn't seem like it's ridiculously expensive either. That's nice too. Um, I'm gonna buy one of these robot caps. And then I'm also gonna buy nothing else because everything else is either too expensive or I don't need it. Thank you. Come again. Good to know. Alright. I guess we are gonna go to the Witch's Forest because BZ won't go with us otherwise. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Maybe I wanted to go to the forest. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. The world may never know. Fuck it, just go. I'm not even gonna... Oh, we can't. We have to bring her with us. We can't leave BZ behind. BZ, hurry up. Oh, well, at least she went up a level. Worth it. Alright, come on, BZ. Let's get the hell out of here. Go, go, go. Go, go. Oh, God, I'm stuck on something. Go, go, go. go. Come on, you idiot. Oh, God, the AI. It's great. It's the greatest. Have I ever told you how great the AI is in this game, guys? Man, it is second to none. Come on. Come on, BZ. Yeah, here. Thank you. Oh, spiraling to our doom, indeed. Guy is bullshit naval. Get me out of here. Fuck you, B. I don't even care right now. I don't even care right now. Fuck you, plant. Fuck you, dolphin. Fuck you, whale. Oh, God, come on. AI, stop it. Fuck off, you bitches. Ugh, I don't even care. They're gonna make me care whether I want to or not. Bitches. Ah, uh, all right, fuck it, kill them all. <laughs> frustrating ass bees. No, seriously, I'm getting frustrated by these guys. Cause I'm having a hard time hitting them. If I could just hit them, it wouldn't be so bad. But they're like fucking irritating when I try and hit. Oh my god, I got knocked right. At she fucking knocked her. You idiot. You're just an idiot, girl. Wow, she's dead. Really, really, really. Ugh. How frustrating. God damn it. Really? We're gonna go back? <sighs> Alright. We're back to the witch's forest or whatever the fuck it's called. Let's fucking do this. I'm gonna fuck you up, sir. I am going to fuck you up, sir. You may be behind a rose bush, but they will not save your life. I don't like these guys. Oh my god. I can't move. I can't move. I can't move. It won't let me. It won't let me move. It won't let me move. Oh my god, dude. It wouldn't let me move. Wow. Wow. Just, just wow. I might need to look up a strat for how to deal with this AI being so fucked up. I, I might, because seriously, to 
This is ridiculous. The AI seriously wouldn't let me because of the way the screen scroll won't scroll when you're at the edge of the screen. Holy shit. I'm just going to have to learn to find a way around it, I guess. How an irritating can that be? I just went back to heal her and then she's dead already because that bullshit just happened. <sighs> Frustrating. Whatever. I'm just going to go on without her for the moment. I don't care. I don't care. We've already wasted enough time this episode. I don't even care. I get we could just go up in here and whoop, her, whoop this dude's ass, I guess. Not really that big of a deal. Fuck you, Roger Rabbit. I don't know. What the hell do I call these things? They're like chipmunk archers. You're a bunch of sons of bitches. You know that? You're a bunch of sons of bitches. I love it when they die that there's, they just have that skeleton animation. It just makes it feel all the more satisfying that they're dead. Yeah, it's definitely better to just get to where they are, corner them, and then fuck them up. Gotta learn the strats, guys. Gotta learn the strats. All the better that main character went up a level, though, because that makes this make this that makes this make this a lot easier to deal with. Fuck you. Fuck you, buddy. Fuck you. And yes, I see that Neko cat. Probably a save point slash shop, and therefore. We were probably in the episode here because, well, I just really wanted to get to a somewhere different before I ended this episode, and I feel like we're in that somewhere different. You got anything cool? Well, I guess I'll save it first, but I meant to go to the shop first. That's cool. You got anything cool to buy? Anything new? Anything not over- oh, God, fuck you. No. I wanted to buy something. This menu is frustrating me today. Overly frustrated with the menu. Third episode in. No, nothing new. Okay, well, that's just great. Although, he does have royal jam. He's got that royal jam and that fairy walnut. Holy crap, that's expensive. I'm going to have to look up what these items do. There's so many items, and somebody already told me there's no way to like learn what the items are within the game. You have to have the manual. I ain't got no stinking manual. Well, actually, this game might have a built-in manual that is the Wii version. Let's see. Sometimes these games have, yeah, built-in manual. Yeah, here you go. There you go. Something useful. Obstacles, towns, allies, status effects, menu ring, ring commands, get special sc Can we get, like, a fucking item list in this bitch? No. Equip armor. No, I know what all those things do. No. Status effects. No. Towns and facilities. No. Don't you love it when Funky G goes through the manual on screen? It's the best. It's alright. This episode's over anyways. Screw this. I'll do this on my own time. In the next episode of Let's Play Secret of Mana, we'll go through this forest. And if I have to, I'll go back and revive Beezy and come back to this point with her alive, hopefully. So I will see you guys then. Peace!